Greetings! It is I, Cantus Naravan Jacobin, Lord and Emperor of the Jacobin Empire, and welcome. It is time to continue my discussion on the clowns and bloodlines of Vampire the Masquerade in the World of Darkness. When we last left off, we of course were continuing where we had been pouring through the bloodlines. Today I have the only Orator bloodline to be known about, so this might be a short episode. But I'm going to just introduce you to the Ishtari. So the Ishtari, of course, are a bloodline of the Toreador, and they are one of the legacies of Libon, the African groups of vampires. They have the disciplines of celerity, fortitude, and presence. Now they claim to have originally dis uh, descended from Ishtar, the Babylonian guard goddess, but seem to lack any kind of personal connection to Africa itself. They are in fact the only legacy that is not native to Africa, but through expertise of manipulation and diplomacy, they have made themselves an integral par part of the Libon culture itself. Meaning without them, things just don't work anymore. They have made sure that beyond being that fact they are not native, they are as good as any native Libon. Now information is the key to everything they seek and they make spying a hobby. And allies and contacts are things to be both used for information and manipulated for information. They also have this interesting need to be in constant connection with the kind, with the mortals, that can even be an embarrassment amongst the other Libons, that they look down upon them for this, but they have the need for this connection. This is also a reason that they tend to embrace those that they feel are necessary to the bloodline, rather than those that are actually necessary to the bloodline. So it is oftentimes an interesting lot that they embrace. They tend to seek out this beauty that they seek, or even those that represent the vice they are obsessed with. So you can see they tend to embrace for their own feelings rather than those that are actually useful to the overall bloodline. Which is what brings us into the weakness. They actually have a weakness that is somewhere in between the Ravenous weakness and the Toreador weakness. Like the Ravenos, they have the obsession with some form of vice that they have to continually do. They need to indulge in this vice or it drives them mad. But like the Toreador, these vices tend to be very beauty-oriented or indulgent-oriented. So in fact, it does seem to have this kind of feeling that the vices that they need to do are very Toreador in fashion. So it can definitely see how it does have this torrid or influence to the way they act, plus the fact that they embrace along those lines just means they continue to do that anyway. But that's it for today. I only had the one bloodline to talk about, the Ishtari. The Ishtari are the only known bloodline of the Torridor, and they prove it. Their weakness, though, might be closer to the Ravenos in a way, but it still has that true essence of the Torridor. The obsession with beauty, with indulging themselves, with indulging pleasures, but having them vice versions of them, well, it does make it negative for their bloodline. And though they are powerful and ingrained into the very legacy of Libon itself, also not natives. It's true that they say they come from the Middle East, descended from Ishtar, which their connections there are lacking if there is any anymore, but for now, they exist here in the live on and have made themselves indispensable. But regardless, if you have any questions, comments, anything you would say, anything you think I left out, please leave in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It's just support the channel, The Empire, the work I do. If you want to show some extra support, you could always check out my Patreon, linked in the description below. I've got some great words there, and it does help out the channel to grow. But regardless, until the next time, I bid you farewell.